Infographics are a great way to share information in a visual format that is easy to understand. Sometimes, long paragraphs and blocks of text can be hard to read and analyze, but if you present that information through an infographic, it can help your readers understand it quickly and clearly in a dynamic visual format. Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Lucas here from Snappa. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make an infographic with the correct sizing and best practices. Let's get right into it. Before we get started with designing, let's discuss the ideal size for infographics. For vertical infographics, it's common to use dimensions of 800 pixels by 2000 pixels. And for horizontal infographics, the common dimensions are 1200 pixels by 900 pixels. However, technically there are no precise rules to what size your infographic should be. So feel free to customize your dimensions to a size that works best for you. To make things easy, we're going to be using Snappa to design our infographic. You can sign up for a free account, scroll down, and click on infographic to check out our templates. All the dimensions are already built in, and you can always resize if needed. As you can see, we have a bunch of amazing templates to start from, but you can also create your design from scratch if you prefer. Once you find a template you like, you can click on it and start customizing. To start, I'm going to zoom in on the canvas and edit the title text. I can double click the text box and type in my preferred title. Today my infographic is going to be about tips for better sleep. I can also change the size of the text by navigating to the toolbar on the left. I'm also going to change the font to something that's a bit more wide. Judson should be perfect. I can also click on the text box and drag it down to rearrange it on my canvas. Now I'm going to quickly fill in the rest of my tips and make some position adjustments. I can also zoom back out on the canvas to get a better view. Next, I'm going to click on the background of my infographic and navigate to the toolbar on the left to change the color. I'm going to choose black to add an extra punch and really make that text pop. Lastly, I'm going to zoom in on my canvas and resize the ribbon banner on top. I can click on it and drag its corners to make it a little bit larger, and I can also change the color if needed. Also, if you go to the graphics tab and click vectors, we have a whole bunch of different vectors that you can use in your graphics. These vectors are fully scalable and they can add a beautiful touch to your design. Now that I'm finished, I'm going to click the pen icon at the top to rename my graphic. Once it's renamed, I can hit the save button to avoid losing any progress, and I'm also going to download it as a Retina JPEG for the highest quality and best results. If you require a PDF file for your infographic, then head to jpeg2pdf.com and upload your downloaded file. It's completely free and only takes a few seconds to convert your infographic from a JPEG to a PDF. Here's a new design that I'm working on, but I want to change it to square dimensions so I can post it on Instagram. If I click the resize button at the top, I can then put in my custom dimensions and click resize. Then I can choose to open as a new graphic or override the current one, and just like that, my graphic is fully resized to my liking. Many of our infographic templates feature specific topics and themes, but you can always use icons to personalize your design. To remove an existing icon, all you have to do is click on it and delete it. And then you can head over to the graphics tab and search through a huge selection of icons that will better suit the needs of your graphic. Once you find something you like, all you have to do is click on it to add it to your canvas, and then you can reposition it and resize it to your liking. Well, that wraps up today's video. Hopefully you can use Snappa to design some amazing infographics for your audience. If you learned something new, remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.